This is a demo of log sensitive data masking feature which is now available on Cisco Cloud Native Application Observability. We introduced this capability because masking data in logs is important to protect confidential information, maintain regulatory compliance, and prevent unauthorized access or misuse of sensitive data. Let me walk you through how you can configure data masking for logs. To start, let's go ahead and click on Configure option in the left-hand side panel. Once I click on Configure, you can see that there is a new tab added called Security. Under Security, let's go ahead and click on Data Security. Once I click on Data Security, you will land on this page, which shows you a Masking Rules tab and next to it, the Masking Expressions tab. Let's go ahead and look at the Masking Expressions tab first. Under the Masking Expressions tab, you can see a list of all the masking expressions that have already been created. To identify which masking expressions have been provided out of the box or created by the user, you can refer to the type column, where default refers to anything that has been provided out of the box and custom refers to anything that has been created by the user. Let's go ahead and take a look at the custom SSN masking expression. You can see that the first field here is the expression name, which is custom SSN. The second field is for the regex for matching data. Today, most log solution users are familiar with regular expressions as it provides a powerful and flexible pattern matching mechanism. You can specify the regular expression in the second field to match any patterns within logs. Here, we have provided it to match social security number. The third field is data sensitivity, which refers to the sensitivity of the data, which can vary with organizations. It can range from low, medium, high to critical. This field will also be used in the Security Insights FSO platform module to provide data security insights prioritized with business risk observability, which will be available soon. Let's go back and look at how these masking expressions can be used. Jumping on to the masking rules tab, you can see a list of masking rules that have already been created. To see that the, the rules that have already been enabled, you can look at the monitoring status column where we can see the mass social security number is enabled while the mass credit card rule is currently disabled. Let's go ahead and look at the mass social security number rule. You can see that the first field here is the masking rule name, which is specified as mass social security number. The second field is the rule scope which refers to the set of logs where the masking expressions should be applied. In this scenario, you need to provide this value in the log format field within your log collector YAML configuration file. For this example, I have used K8's add e-commerce AppD Cloud demo for logs, which is specified in the YAML configuration file as the log format. The third field is the masking expressions. This is where you can go ahead and select the masking expressions that needs to be applied to this set of logs. In this scenario, we have selected the custom SSN, which we had created in the masking expressions list. You can also go ahead and create a new masking expression right here, which has the same fields as we saw earlier when going through the masking expressions tab. As you select the masking expressions, you would start seeing them pop up as labels right below the masking expressions tab. The fourth field is how you want to mask your data with. In this field, you have the option to select either X character or custom string. We will go ahead and select the X character in this scenario, which means that any data that is being masked 
will be replaced with the x character. Let's go ahead and save this rule. Once a rule has been saved, it is, it is disabled by default. In this scenario, we had edited a rule which was already enabled and that's the reason the monitoring status for this rule is already enabled. Once a masking rule has been enabled, any data that is being ingested from the scope that has been specified in the masking rule will be scanned for that particular pattern and that data will be masked. Let's go ahead and look at how the masked data will look like. Looking at the logs explorer. Let's go ahead and search for SSN on the search bar. Once I search for that, I can see log records that had an SSN entry which has now been masked with X character. The data within the log store is saved in the masked format. We do not save any raw message to comply with security standards. This here concludes the demo. Thank you.